big smile, exhale from the mouth. Remind yourself why you sat on the mat and what you want to get out of this time today. Start to breathe deeper. Keep that gentle smile on the mouth. Inhale to open the eyes, reach the arms up. As we exhale, take the hands back into heart center. And as you're doing so, push the palms together. Inhale the arms out wide and up. Palms press together and bring it down center line on the exhale. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale down center line. With the inhale, the hands go to the knees. The palms are gonna face down. And as we exhale, really round the back, tucking the chin into the chest. Inhale to lift the chest and press the chest forward. Exhale to round the back. So you're pushing the spine to the back of the room. Inhale to open up the chest, lift the chin. One more, we exhale to round. With the inhale, we're going forward. Now go to the right and round the back, exhaling to the left and inhaling to go forward and to the right and back as we exhale, inhaling forward. So you're making circles with the spine. The next time you come through center, we're going the opposite way. Go to the left, round your back, go to the right and go forward. Push the chest forward and again to the left and squeeze. When you're rounding your back, think about pointing your tailbone to the front and when you're going forward with your chest, point your tailbone to the back. So rolling here, tailbone forward, and then rolling here, tailbone back. Next time you come to center, we're gonna hold, crown tall, fingers by your side. Reach the left arm up, the palm faces the right wall, and start walking your right hand over to the right. Keep pressing the left hip to the floor. We're trying to get expansive into the left side ribs. Inhale to come up, reaching both arms up. Exhale the left hand down and reaching the right arm. Now you're pushing the right hip to the floor. Inhale to come up, reach both arms up, reline the spine and exhale over to the right. Left hip pushes down. Inhale up, reach. Exhale left. Inhale, coming back up, taking the hands to interlace and exhale the palms to the ceiling. We're holding here just to create some space into the palms and inhaling the hands to the front of the room. As we exhale, the knuckles point to the front of the room and interlace. Inhale, reach the knuckles towards the right without changing where your hips are. Exhale it to center. I want you to stay really squeezing into the abdominal wall and twisting to the left. Coming back through center and going really slowly, engaging the side abdominals. The hip bones are staying grounded down equally strong. Over to the left and squeeze the left abdominal wall. Coming back through center, over to the right. I want you to start feeling this into your lower belly. Feel that squeeze. Come back through center. And last one here, exhaling to the left. Inhaling to center, releasing the hands. Let's come to table pose. With our table, we have our hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Lift the chin and the tailbone, inhale. Round the back as we exhale. As you're doing this, really push yourself out of the floor. Inhale to lift the chest and chin. Exhale to round, pointing the tailbone towards the knees. Inhale to lift, now the tailbone is to the ceiling. Exhale to downward dog. Push the hips up as long as it feels comfortable to the backs of the knees. Let's actually pedal the feet here. I don't want you to go too fast or too far too fast. Start really noticing what's going on with the joints of your toes and your hips. Let's come down to plank with the left knee down. So we're in a one leg table, the right leg lifts. Bring your left arm forward. We're balancing on the left knee, right hand. Bring the left elbow and the right knee into your chest, exhale. Inhale to come up and lift the chin. Exhale to round and squeeze. 
Inhale to lift and open. Last one here, exhale. Inhale up, tucking the left toes, drop the left hand and lift up to a one leg dog. Bring the right foot between your hands. Stay off the back knee and let's come up to Crescent Warrior. Sit low into your hip, take a deep breath in, the hands will interlace to the front of the body. And as we exhale, we twist the body so that the arms go towards the right, very much the way we were seated, but now we've got that lunge position with the legs. Keeping the hips square to the floor. Here you're pulling your arms to the right, but your left hip to the front of the room. Take one more breath in. As we exhale, we move to warrior two. The arms now go out wide. Sit lower into your right knee. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. We're interlacing the fingers again. And exhale, we side bend to the left. So we're opening up that right side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to windmill the hands to the floor. Left toes turn forward. Right foot steps back. Plank. Inhale. Three push-ups on or off your knees. Exhale. One. Inhale. Up. Exhale two, inhale up, exhale three, inhale up. Lower the knees, sit back, child's pose. Slow breath into your back, expanding there. Long exhale to squeeze the belly stronger. Arms reach forward, inhale to the hands and knees. Downward dog, exhale. Move it to plank and inhale the right knee down. As we exhale, the left leg lifts and the right arm goes forward. Take a deep breath in. Spread the fingers of your left hand. Exhale, left knee, right elbow into the chest. Come up, inhale. Exhale to round, get really small to the front of the body. Inhale, lift, get really strong to the back of the body. Exhale, round. Inhale up, just the hand goes down and exhale, one leg dog, left leg to the ceiling, deep breath in. Left foot between your hands as we exhale, moving up to crescent warrior, arms up. Sit low into your hips, straighten your back leg, squeeze through the right glute. Interlace the fingers, bring the arms directly in front of you, the hips don't change, but the arms reach to the left. Pull your right hip forward, keep your left knee over your ankle, deep breath in. Squeeze your right glute. Exhale to warrior two, so we're opening it up. Ground through the back foot. Both feet have equal weight. See where your hips are and get them so that they're square to the floor and your shoulders are over your hips. Inhale, arms up overhead, interlacing the fingers. Exhale to side bend right. Keep reaching the left knee to the left. Gaze can go to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Windmill down. Exhale, right toes turn forward. Left foot goes to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, three push-ups on or off your knees. One, two, Three, go down and upward dog on your inhale. Child's pose with your exhale. Big breath in, expand your back. Exhale, coming up to table pose. Tuck your toes under so that you can open up the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, arms reach up. Interlace the fingers, exhale. Side bend to the right, inhale. So we've been here before, it's just a little bit of a change with the lower body. Be aware, your toes are tucked under so we're opening up the bottoms of the feet. Come back up through center and exhale to side bend to the left. Try not to arch your back. Keeping the spine straight is gonna give you more mobility to create the movement from there. Inhale to come up to neutral. Exhale, arms forward and down. Downward dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, plank, right knee, right elbow. Bring the knee to the left elbow on the inhale. Exhale, the foot between your hands. 
High lunge, inhaling crescent. Exhaling arms forward. This time the left arm is gonna stay forward, just the right arm goes back as we inhale and sit lower on the exhale. Take your right hand to your left hamstring, take your left arm to the wall behind you. As you're doing this, the gaze can go to the ceiling or to the right or down towards your right shoulder. Keep bending the front knee. Take one more breath in. Let's go to warrior two on the exhale. So the arms go wide to a T. Get that right thigh parallel to the floor, shoulders over your wrists, left hand down the left thigh, right arm up and over, deep breath in. Now we straighten the right leg as we exhale. Inhale, tip all the way over, and we're moving into triangle with the exhale. The arms are straight to a T. Lift your kneecaps for power, and one more breath in. Right knee bends and exhale, hands to the front of the mat. Ground into your left toes, then roll to the outer edge of your left foot. We're moving to side plank. You can do a bound side plank, or you can keep your right foot on the floor with the right arm up. You choose. Inhale. Exhale to lower the hand. We're moving to plank. On or off the knees, three push-ups when you're ready. Move with your breath. Don't hang your chin. Last one, we go down and then we go up, cobra or up dog. Down dog on your exhale. When you come to your downward dog, find your feet are balanced and equal with your hands. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale it to the right elbow. Exhale the foot between your hands. Crescent, inhaling, arms up. Exhale, arms go forward. Make sure your back leg is straight and strong. Left arm out to the left. As you're bringing it to the back of the room, pull your right hip forward. Left hand on the right hamstring, right arm reaches up and back. The hips are still square to the front of the room. Deep breath in. Warrior two as we exhale. Arms out wide, round your feet, right hand down the right thigh, left arm up and over. Deep breath in. Exhale to straighten the right leg. Inhale to go over to the left as we move to triangle. Right arm to the ceiling, left hand on the left thigh or shin. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, the left knee bends, turn the right toes forward, move to your side plank. You choose your modification, whatever works for you. Deep breath in. Plank on the exhale, three push-ups, inhale here. Let's go, exhale, three, two, one, down dog. Slow breath in. Exhale down to the knees. Child's pose as we exhale. Now as you're here in your child's pose, slow your breath down. We're using this to get more oxygen, more rest. So notice if you're letting the body breathe quickly. That's not giving you what we need right now. Slow your breath down and feel the expansion coming into your back. Take a slow inhale. And as we exhale, let's come back up to table and move to seated, bringing the bottoms of the feet to touch. And then we're just rocking side to side. Come to neutral and fold forward. As you're here, we're trying to open up the inner thighs so you can take the hands or elbows to the inner knees if you need. And with the next breath in, coming up and come onto the back. Bring the feet so that they're hip distance apart. Hands come right underneath, or sorry, right by your hips. Your feet are in line with your knees. With your inhale, lift your hips up. And exhale.
exhale to slowly lower down. Make sure that you're grounding your feet equally from your heel to your forefoot. Keep moving with your breath and as you go up, the glutes engage and then squeeze the hamstrings like you're trying to pull the knees towards your hips. We're doing two more here. Make sure you get the full squeeze at the top, lower down and last one. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale to lower, the hips come down, the right heel to the ceiling, press out of the heel, take the hands to the bottom, uh, back of the right leg, and slowly circle the ankle. And go the other way. Ground your hands by your sides, ground your left foot, and inhale, hips up for five, and down. Exhale up, four, Inhale down, exhale up, three, two, one. Hips down, right ankle to the left thigh, bring your left knee into your chest. Hands can hold, left hand, right foot, right hand, right knee, or left hand onto the shin, or both hands onto the shin. Make sure that your back is supported. So notice if the tailbone starts to curl up or if your shoulder blade starts to lift. We want the whole spine to be supported and we're moving again from that straight spine. Take one more breath in here. Exhale to lower, both feet down. Left leg goes up, hands behind the left hamstring. Spread the toes and circle the ankle. And let's go the other way. Hold to neutral. Take your right heel, ground it down, right, uh, both hands by your side, and let's go up for five, and down. Exhale up, four, inhale down. Exhale up, three, inhale down. Exhale up, two, inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down, left ankle, right thigh. You can stay here to kind of just move around through that hip. If you need more intensity, knee comes to the chest. If you need more intensity, hands to the shin. Now notice if you have to lift and hold here, then it's too much for you. Bring your head back down and relax through your low back. A slow inhale. A long and soft exhale. Notice if you can get that right thigh a little closer with your exhale. Inhale through center, releasing the legs up to the ceiling. Take your palms underneath your low back, underneath your glutes. Lower the legs to as much as you can where you don't have to arch your low back. Exhale the legs up to the ceiling. Inhale to lower and we're gonna lift the gaze to the front wall and exhale to come up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Two more. When you're doing this, you really want to get the whole exhale out of the body. Last one. Hold the legs up. Bring the arms now by your side. Lower the right leg as the uh, right knee comes into the chest and the left leg hovers. And then we switch and switch. 10, squeeze, nine, eight, seven. Keep pushing your low back into the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Both knees into the chest. Interlace the fingers, reaching the arms to the left outside of your left thigh and start marching the thighs again for 10. Nine, get your right shoulder blade right off of the mat. Seven, six, make sure you're exhaling when you pull the knee in. Four, three, two, one. Arms up, keep the legs going. We're just going to the right side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep squeezing, almost done. Last two, last one, good job. Knees to chest, hands to knees, rocking side to side. The head comes down here. 
Pull to center, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch, the knees go wide, let the arms go overhead. Closing the eyes here. Slow your breath down. Try to take five seconds on your inhale and five seconds on your exhale. Bring your right knee all the way across to the left so we're creating a twist. You can use your left hand on the outside of the right knee you can take your right arm straight out to the right or leave it overhead. I want you to find some comfort with your legs somewhere here. The knee does not have to touch the floor, but I want you to feel that you're supported, that your body is not having to use muscular effort to be here. Take one more breath in. And exhale to center, keeping the knee bent. Take the hands to interlace to the right shin, drag the left heel forward. Pull the shin really close to you, get your forehead to your knee. Squeeze the lower belly and use your biceps here to pull the knee into the chest. One more breath in. Exhaling the head down, the foot down. Bring the bottoms of the feet to touch, hands go overhead. Slow breath in, adjust as you need to so that the body finds balance on both sides. And we go over to the left knee to the right side. And then you choose what you do with that left arm. It can be out to the side or overhead. And then noticing what's going on with the hips. We want them to be in a position that they can relax in. So if you're doing something that's causing more tension, then find a, an easier twist. Maybe straighten the leg uh, the right side or just kind of play around with what you need to do. Eventually, you're gonna to have to stop fidgeting. So find something that you can at least breathe in comfortably and let go of holding the posture any longer. Coming back through center, interlace the fingers to the left shin, straighten the right leg, and bring your forehead to your left knee. Biceps are engaged, lower belly is drawn in, tuck the chin, squeeze through the belly and biceps. One more breath in. And exhale, the right knee comes into the chest to meet the left, both knees, both hands, deep inhale. And exhale to lower the head down. Lengthen the legs. Moving into Shavasana. So finding that your feet are to the edges of your mat, your arms can go out wide. Finding that the head is in line with the rest of the spine. So if you're turning the head to the side, see if you can get your chin in line with your spine instead. Finding that natural curve in the back of the neck and that natural curve in your low back. The toes are turned out so there's no effort in the thighs. Choose what feels most restful for your hands. You can have them on your belly, you can have them out to the sides, whatever feels good.
slow breath in. Big smile, exhale from the mouth. Start to bring some movements to the fingers and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Arms go overhead, toes reach to the front of the room. Take a deep inhale. Out of the mouth, exhale. Knees bend, come into the chest and rolling onto one side. Coming up to a seat, just as we started. Take your hands to your heart. Allow your eyes to close. We are all dealing with a lot. So let's be patient with each other and be patient with ourselves. Remember that your breath is always there as a tool if you need a little escape from stress or anxiety, you have the control over that. So use your breath as your best tool. Let's inhale together. Exhale from the mouth. Big smile. Namaste. Thank you guys. How do you feel? It was a little bit of a shorter practice, but I think we got everything we needed out of it. And uh, I'm really hopeful that my energy is um, being transcribed or transmitted to you guys because um, I need you, you guys need movement, and I'm really happy to um, help out. I wouldn't do it if you guys weren't interested. So it's a team effort and I appreciate you. Uh, I'm doing a 10:30. It's okay. You have to be able to feel one side over the other. Do not be disappointed in your body. Thank your body and even the discomfort, thank the discomfort and just say, okay, left shoulder. I know you're feeling a little tight today. I honor you. Do what you need to do and I'm here for you, I'm gonna breathe for you. It's not about forcing the body because you know that's not gonna work. You have to be, treat your body like it's your best friend. If your best friend said, I'm not feeling good, you're not gonna be like, ah, come on, stupid friend. You'd be like, what can I do for you? How can I help? So do the same thing with your body. Be, like I said, patient and understanding and compassionate. Because as you know, if someone's mean to you, you're not gonna to try to help them. Your body's the same way. If you're mean to your body, the body's gonna be like, well, fuck you too then, <laughs> right? So I probably shouldn't have swore, I'm sorry. So um, I hope that helps. I want you to start, yes, I want you to start talking to yourself differently. Respect, compassion. Remember our heart center is that center of, of love and compassion. So when you're feeling a little angry at yourself, you can use that and, you know, kind of just bring that in and say, you know, I love you. Like talk to your body like it is another person, like it is you, it is, it is your body, but talk to it like it's a thing. You know, I, I'm here for you. I care for you. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the best nutrients in here for you. So there's no bad. The discomfort is there as a guide to show you what you need to work on, not something that you need to get upset about. 